Telling the stories that make a difference seems just like a drop in the bucket. In a world of need, thirsting to be healed and enriched. In doing my part as a creator of compelling visual stories, I join with and serve the efforts of a global community of people who work tirelessly, drop by drop, message by message, to make a real difference. Hello, I'm Gregory Ross. I believe that in working together, we can dream a better world. Through projects, we can raise awareness, increase understanding, and energize funding for the many causes which ultimately will lead to the well-being of all mankind. My journey began at the young age of 23 when a gentleman by the name of Tom Hubbard hired me as his assistant. Tom went on to become the director of Time Life Laboratories in New York City, and I went on my way to become a shadow catcher. Since then, aside from my work for food and commercial photography, my work for the heart, my editorial work, has taken me down back roads into back rooms on six continents, shooting stories and making documentaries. Early 90s, I was invited to accompany a research advisor for Earthwatch. It was a whirlwind trip through Kenya, Tanzania, Malawi, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe. I returned to Africa, this time to Namibia with the Tribal Trust Foundation. We traveled deep into the Kalahari Desert in search of the San Bushman people. I filmed the living culture of these first people to expose their loss of native lands to government encroachment. Cambodia, late 90s. I trekked the back roads of another continent with Bert Chamberlain and the Hagar Project. It was Cambodia, a country still ravaged by the genocide of the Khmer Rouge under Pol Pot. Disease, poverty, and human trafficking ran rampant. I saw children sleeping on the streets of Phnom Penh, amputees from landmines, families living in garbage dumps. I photographed the worst of it before Bert let me see the best of it. We visited the Hagar Project, which had just opened its first shelter for women and children, providing them shelter, rehabilitation, and economic sustainability. Today, Hagar has expanded to Vietnam and Afghanistan. Early 2000s, Southeast Asia. I was on assignment in Burma, Malaysia, and Thailand. In Burma, before the increase of tourism, I documented what life was like in a country with an appalling human rights record isolated from the rest of the world. In Thailand, I documented a great project in which the government was creating work opportunities and artisanal schooling in the ancient Thai arts of painting, weaving, and metalwork, projects sponsored by the Queen and the Royal Palace. In 2011, I met Dr. Dror Paley, world-renowned orthopedic pediatric surgeon. Dr. Paley has spent a lifetime career as a tireless surgeon, researcher, and groundbreaking pioneer. He and the Paley Foundation advocates for saving limbs from amputation and changing lives. Patients from all over the United States, over 30 countries worldwide, come to the Paley Institute each year seeking a better answer. The Paley Foundation story reaches to developing countries where for the past four years I have documented Dr. Paley's work to save limbs and change lives. On many mission trips, people of all ages are treated by Paley's team and medical doctors and nursing staff receiving critical training. Haiti, 2012. A two-hour flight from South Florida, we arrive on a Sunday morning. It looks like we have been dropped into a war zone. The 2010 earthquake had left indescribable conditions. P. 
people in tent cities, roads impassable. The medical team was in the operating room within an hour after arriving at Adventist Hospital, Port-au-Prince. Mission trip, Nicaragua, 2013, 14, and 15. A woman in her mid-40s hobbles into the hospital where the Paley team is assessing patients. She is walking on the tops of her feet where her skin has thickened into a mushroom shape to accommodate the deformity. Somehow, she wedges her feet into a pair of plastic sandals. The surgery to correct her severe club foot condition takes six hours. When she awakes, she stares down amazed to see a matched pair of feet, toes pointing upward. These and many other important stories are the shadows of truth. I capture in my efforts to make a difference to add a few more drops into the bucket until at some point the water begins to overflow and there is a change in world consciousness. I welcome the opportunity to learn more about your story and together explore ways to develop compelling visual messages, get the word out and raise awareness.